Sixth point, oh dear, here a bit of discipline comes in. Yeah? Restrict TV. Some of you may remember that uh, I think it was the very first of my latest set of 15 points for order members was restrict input. Hmm? And of course, nowadays quite a lot of input comes from TV. CV. There's a, a big debate going on, uh, uh, as of course you all know, as to, to what extent f films involving violence, which are shown on TV, are responsible for juvenile uh, violence and even for juvenile delinquency. Well, the ex some experts say there's no real connection, others say that there is. So it's very difficult for the layman to know what the true state of affairs is and whether there is or is not a causal connection between violence as seen on TV and violence in the home and in the street. But of one thing we can be sure from a Buddhist point of view, eh? whether or not the seeing of violence on TV does result in your committing a violent action or not, it certainly does not improve your mental state. At the very least we can say that. And if you spend several hours a week, or perhaps even a day, watching material which contains a large component of violence, well what does that do to your mental state? Whether you're an adult or whether you're a more receptive and susceptible child. Eh? So even from that point of view, even from the point of view that your mind is even momentarily imbued with the impressions of violence, even from that point of view alone, I think parents need to restrict the viewing, the TV viewing of their children. Some of course will say, well, children have rights. Hmm? They've got a right to watch TV, whatever they like. Huh? Well, most of you know that I don't use myself the language of rights. I use the language of duties. And parents, I think, Buddhist parents especially, have a duty to restrict the TV viewing of their children. Not just what they watch, qualitatively speaking, but also how much time they spend sitting in front of the box. Hmm? I've, I've been hearing some quite interesting discussions on the radio in this connection recently. Surveys have found that British children on the whole are overweight hmm? and do not take enough exercise and that their imaginations have been seriously impaired. And this is attributed in great part to watching too much TV. Hmm? They're overweight, well partly because of wrong diet, we're going to go on to that in a minute, huh? but also because they don't take enough exercise. Huh? And they don't take enough exercise because it's much more interesting huh, to be parked in front of the TV set, apparently. So, so long as your child is sitting there, hour after hour, he or she is not taking exercise. And, as I've said, surveys have shown that the average British child is not taking enough exercise and, to that extent, is less healthy than he or she should be. Hmm? And then, of course, watching TV impairs the imagination. Huh? And tests have been conducted on, on sh school going children to, to, which show that this is the case because watching TV, you're taking in, taking in, taking in all the time. You're not using your mind, you're not using your imagination. So excessive watching of TV is not good for the child and probably not for the adult either from that point of view. Hmm? So restrict TV. Hmm? I know it's going to be difficult. I know that. I, I remember the case of uh, a woman order member whose, 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 whose children felt deprived because she didn't have a TV set in the house. And in the end, she had to give in to their persistent pressure because they felt so deprived and so different from all the other children at school who were able to talk about this program and that program and they weren't able to join in the discussion because their mother didn't allow a TV set in the house. In the end she had to allow it quite reluctantly. Though I do believe she managed to restrict their viewing to some extent. So I know the pressures that are at work, but nonetheless I think 
parents need to take a firm line and deftly restrict the TV viewing of their children. Not only restrict it qualitatively, but restrict the amount of time that uh, children sit you know, inertly, just goggling at the box. Yeah? 